equations of hyperbolas given certain information like the vertices or the foci. Uh, one of the most important things to do is to locate the center. So if you have a hyperbola with vertices at negative 20 and negative 1 right here and 0, negative 1, the center of that hyperbola is going to be the midpoint of this segment right here. So if we want to find the average of the x coordinates, 0 plus a negative 20 is negative 20 divided by 2, negative 10. So the center of this hyperbola is at negative 10, negative 1. And that allows us to fill in the H and the K in this general form for the equation of a hyperbola that opens left and right. So we can start with this. X minus a negative 10 is X plus 10, the quantity squared, over A squared. Well, you know what? A is just the distance from the center to a vertex. So from negative 10 to 0 or from negative 20 to negative 10 is a distance of 10. And 10 squared is 100. Minus k is negative 1. y minus a negative 1 is y plus 1, the quantity squared. The question is, how do we find b? with this other information that's given. And that's what they mean by this central rectangle that allows you to draw these dotted red lines, asymptotes, and that the hyperbola is uh, going to approach as x approaches infinity or negative infinity. So if we, if we really want to find the slope of this line right here, because this distance, this vertical distance right here, that's what B is. <clears throat> and this distance is A. So if the perimeter of this rectangle is 72, that means that this distance, uh, which is from negative 20 to 10, so to, to 0 is 20. Uh, and that means this distance has to be 16 from the top of the rectangle to the bottom of the rectangle because half the perimeter is 36. So, but B is just this part. A is this just part, which is half of the 20 or 10. That means B uh, must be eight, okay? Because that's half of 16, but B squared is 64. And I didn't ask you to do anything about locating the foci, but quickly I'm going to share my screen. Go to Desmos and show you what this hyperbola looks like with a point moving around on it. Um, see this D1 minus D2? That's the distance from a point on the hyperbola to the teach of the foci, well, the difference between them. So there's the distance to one foci. There's the distance to another foci. And if I move that x coordinate around, notice that d is always 20. That's the definition of a hyperbola. Okay, and notice that I've got the general form for the hyperbola up here. a is 10, b is 8. There's the center, negative 10, negative 1. The c over a is the s eccentricity and uh, there you go hope that helped uh, if you have any questions post a comment call in the video